Hey guys, it's Brooke. Welcome to my channel if you're new and welcome back if you are a subscriber. Speaking of subscribing, if you do enjoy this video and you have not subscribed yet, I would love it if you would subscribe down below or even give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. And today I am going to be reviewing, well not really reviewing, we're going to be just playing with the America Parks palette by Nomad Cosmetics. So here it is right here wrapped up. I wanted to keep it wrapped up and show you guys the really really cute sustainable recyclable packaging it's really cute it has a little bear on it I love the whole mission behind this palette it's really really nice and I'll go ahead and give you guys some information on it right, so from what I am looking at and understanding this is their newest palette it's the America Parks palette it literally has five stars so that's really cool it's an intense eyeshadow palette $39 so that's not too bad at all they are currently out of stock but they are shipping in early August. It should be shipping really soon. I've seen Allie Dawson review this palette and I was like I have to have that. The palette is so pretty and I just love National Park so it's like perfect fitting. So it does come with this cute little postcard right here and I did contact Nomad Cosmetics. I was like hey I'm a content creator and just in case I would love to have a code for my followers just in case you guys want to try this palette out get them some money off so they were so sweet and did set me up a code it's good for one year it is Brooke 10 for 10% 10 off of this palette but I also think that you can use it on their entire website here is the shell packaging it's so pretty and glossy and then the palette looks exactly the same super pretty it has that nice gloss to it. I love the theming of this palette. It's so so pretty. It's almost kind of like a like a mood board of the different national parks. I think that's so cool. And this palette is so beautiful. Look at this. Look how pretty that is. And they do have like shapes in them. Like this kind of looks like mountains, which is super pretty. The Metallics look so gorgeous and I love the colors of this palette. It's so beautiful. I think my favorite part about this palette is the imprints. The imprints are so gorgeous and I love how they tried to incorporate them to the national park that it is named after. So like we have Old Faithful, which I thought this was a geyser at first, but it's actually a tree because if you come down here to this red, it says Giant Redwoods, which I love that they made that red. It only makes sense. It is a tree. We have Blue Ridge Parkway. We literally go there almost every year. It's so gorgeous. It has a bear. Very, very fitting, I have to say. I think this is the Acadia lighthouse and it has like a lighthouse which is really beautiful. The theming of this palette is everything. It's so cute. I'm a big outdoorsy person so I'm really really obsessed and loving the aesthetic look of this palette. When I'm looking at the color story like the colors in the actual palette it's really easy to see what colors to put together and what colors you could do. They kind of laid them out really nicely and there's a lot of mattes that would go with their coordinating shimmer color which is really nice like this green and green or this greenish blue or you could do these colors right here like this palette is very versatile really easy palette to work with and put looks together I don't feel stuck when I look at this palette. <sighs> okay what do I want to do? Alright, so let's go ahead and do some swatches. Shine bright up all night. We're never slowing down. Fall in love, drunk mistakes. We're bound to hit the ground. Gotta keep this feeling, keep on breathing.
Okay, hopefully this is close enough for you guys. I'm just going to start off with a little bit of concealer on my eyelid just to kind of help cancel out the redness and blueness and whatever else is going on. There's no telling what is going on up there. And I'm just going to put a little bit of powder over that. I want to do something really simple but cute. <laughs> That's like the whole goal in life, right? Simple but cute. I'm thinking I'm going to use these three colors right here. It may be horrible, it may be ugly, or it may be very pretty. I don't know, we'll see. So I'm going to take this really fluffy round brush and I'm going to dip very lightly in Old Faithful right here, which is like this mustardy yellow. I'm going to put that in the crease I'm going to be very light with it. I just want a light wash of yellow, just nothing crazy. All right, so there is Old Faithful. I think that blended out really beautiful, and that is a really nice color. It's like a like a sunflower yellow. It's really pretty. Now we're going to go in with South Rim, which is this dark plummy purple, and I'm going to start that on the outer corner and kind of bring it in. I think I want this to be like my main color, which is crazy because I never really do a purple. It's going to start off. Oh, that's nice. Okay. Okay, I'm really liking that shade. It's really nice. I don't know why, but I love purple and yellow together. I just think it complements each other so nicely. And I am so ready for fall. Is anybody else ready for fall? I am so ready for fall. Today is like the hottest day in Florida so far. It is 90% humidity and they said it's supposed to feel like 110 degrees. Yeah. So there is that matte purple. Like most purples, it can be a little patchy. You just kind of have to really just pack it on and build it up. I have noticed that if you do have too dense of a fluffy brush, the purple will blend away just a little bit, so you have to be very careful with the purple. But it is one of the more easier purples that I have in my collection, and I really, really love the color of this specific purple. Okay, so next I'm gonna go into Big Ben, and I'm going to just use my finger. Oh, these are so soft. I'm just going to put that right in the center. Oh yeah, that's pretty, wow. I mean, I don't know how good it looks with the yellow, but I think it's a really pretty shade by itself. And it goes with that plum purple so nicely. I'm going to go in with the Acadia Lighthouse, which is that blue, sea blue right there. I know, it's getting crazy in here, but I just want to put that right in the inner corner. I'm just going to put it right here. Oh wow, that is pigmented. That is so pigmented. I'm just going to kind of blend it up. That shade over that yellow shadow is so gorgeous. Okay, I actually think that really brought it together. It looks really beautiful, or at least I think it does. So I'm going to put that plum purple on the bottom lash line, do the rest of my makeup, and I'll be right back. All right, you guys, here is the completed look, and I am in love with how it came out. So for the inner corner, I just mixed the Arcadia Lighthouse, which is that blue that we used right here, and then a little bit of Mount Denali, which is that silver, and that's what I used for the inner corner. I put the plum shade, which is South Rim, under the lower lash line, and this is the completed look. I just put on some mascara. I mixed Big Ego and Man Eater by Tarte for the mascara. This is my first time using Nomad Cosmetics and I will say I am very impressed with the quality. I really like their metallics especially. So yeah, I really enjoyed using this palette and I think it is such a beautiful palette. And I definitely will be trying more things from Nomad in the future. Also remember, if you do decide to pick up this palette or anything by Nomad Cosmetics, use my code BROOKE10 for 10% off to save you guys a little bit of money. My under eyes look super white on camera. I hope that's not what it looks like in the video. Um, 
Wow, that looks crazy. Okay, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and subscribe down below if you liked it. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys!